clotheslines. Not all of us have them anymore, but they're still probably the most economically friendly way to dry your clothes that there is out there. And what better way than just setting your clothes out and letting the sun dry them up? Well, if you're doing any repairs to your clothesline, it can be very difficult, as anyone who's tried it knows, to actually get the lines taut. And if they're too loose, your clothes hang too far down, they then all bunch together, and they don't do what they're supposed to be doing. So this homeowner here called us in to take care of the same exact thing. And so you can see this line here, we got all good, but the two that they were able to get up sag a ton, these two right here. Whereas you see the one on the far end that we did, it's like, doesn't as much. This one's already sagging without anything on it. I mean, without any effort, this, this is going down. So, again, how do you do this? Well, you'll see here, this side of things isn't any different than you normally do. Just the standard clothesline clips. And see, oftentimes when you when you have these on both ends, you usually have someone, if you can, pulling on one side and you're trying to get this as tight as you can while someone is tightening these guys up. And again, you still end with the loose lines here. But I'm gonna show you a little bit easier way of doing this that really doesn't take much effort at all. Honestly, the biggest trouble I had today with this one was just untangling the line that I opened wrong. I am gonna set you right down here. So this is the one here we're working on. This. This is a clothesline tightener, otherwise known as a tensioner. You can get these at Ace, Home Depot, Amazon, pretty much any hardware store, more mainstream hardware stores or online, you'll be able to find these. Seven, eight, nine bucks, somewhere right in that range. These are gonna be your lifesavers. And the great thing is too, is you can easily adjust them later. You'll see those little ball bearings right in here well, that's what keeps everything tight. And additionally, this here, you pull it back, there's a spring in there. Whenever you pull it back, it allows those ball bearings to expand so you can get line through easily. So we have this here. However, we're not gonna be able to get on the hook here because it is a full circle. And that won't connect. However, this just pops right out like that. And what pocket did I stick it into? There we go. Grab yourself one of these. These are another tool often used in tightening clotheslines or other cords in other places or chains. So we're kind of using a combination system here, but again, it works. It's the best thing that we found. So works why change it so we're gonna be connecting the closed end through might take a little bit of wiggling to get a different angle all the other ones were smooth it's always when you're on video we're trying to show someone that it doesn't go so well then you're just gonna pop the end now that it's on pop the end right in the hole again. You're going to make sure it's slightly unthreaded. Slightly unthreaded. There. And on this side, instead of all the way in. Simply hook that in. And for this one, the homeowner is wanting I like the green nylon braided cord. This stuff is thicker than a lot of your typical clotheslines, and so getting it through initially is a little bit harder. However, whichever line you use, getting through the initial bar ball bearings is the pain. So as you see, I went ahead and cut the nylon off the end, so the bare wire is exposed. 
and that'll make it a lot easier to stick it right through the ball bearings here and out the other side. It may or may not be easier for you to remove it from the hook. At this point, it doesn't really matter. As you can see, once I pull on this side here, it's gonna pull the whole thing in. But once I let go, it pops back into place. So that's where we're at the moment. For this step, I found taking a pair of pliers, channel lock, something like that, just to grab the end, make it a little bit easier to grab onto and hold, really helps. So, just gonna take it, and I'm just gonna apply pressure as I pull. Try this again. This one's a booger. There we go. Like I said, it's just a pain to get through, but now that it is in, it slides so easily. And if you need to get back the other way, pull it out. And again, it goes so smoothly. So now, stick it back up. Just like that. So again, at this point, typically you'd be yanking and yaking and trying to twist this at the same time. Not here. We're not worried about that. I'm just gonna pull as much as you can. Don't hurt yourself. There we go. It's pretty taut. And that's when we take the other tightener and twist that up. Easy as that. I then go ahead and wrap this around the end just a couple times in case you ever have to tighten this up again or if you have to take it down for anything. It just makes it super easy. This this isn't going anywhere. I mean, this thing's tight. It is in there. I can actually still tighten that up a little bit more. But this is a whole lot better than the whole brute force method. This is how I did it over here. Just wrapped it a couple times, cut it off, put it through the hole. Just in case you need to adjust it anymore in the next few days or after the first time of close and realizing it's still a little loose. You can adjust it without the whole thing being, having to be redone. Anyways, hope that helps. Just a little DIY tip for your backyard. Save a little bit of money, save a little bit of trouble.